In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the USB Loader GX forwarder channels on your virtual Wii menu and your Wii U menu. Along with that, I'm going to show you how to fix your issues while using an SD card to store your games, specifically SD mode not saving or always having to press A for SD mode while loading into USB Loader GX. Now this guide is for Aroma Custom Firmware and you do already need USB Loader GX set up in order for the forwarder channels to work. As for the SD card loading issues, the reason this happens is from one of the two potential causes. One, you might have an outdated version of the virtual Wii forwarder. You can tell when you load through the actual ULGX app in the homebrew channel without any issues, but not the virtual Wii channel. And the second potential cause is you could have an older version of the actual ULGX app. Turns out the app from Open Shop channel currently causes problems with SD mode. So of course, I will show you how to fix that coming up. So to get started, I have all of the links that you need down below. And the first one will take you to my FS47 Aroma channel pack. And in the middle here is USB Loader GX. We are going to right click and hit download. This is going to grab our Wii U forwarder channel along with our VWii forwarder channel, the fixed version. And paired with that, we will need a WAD manager in order to install the VWii channel. So the second link will take you to the Open Shop channel for YAM Mod Me Edition. Scroll down and hit download. Of course, you don't need to download this if you already have a WAD manager set up but this is now the recommended WAD manager. If you're here just for the channels, then well, you're good to go. So you can skip to the SD setup. But if however, you need to update your USB Loader GX app, the third link will take you to this GitHub page. So this is USB Loader GX 1281. As I mentioned before, the version from the Open Shop channel for USB Loader GX will cause some issues. Specifically, you'll have to press A every single time to load SD mode. But if you're looking to update your app, well, just download the zip file right here. Once you have all three of those, you are good to go for the downloads. Let's set up our SD card. So my downloads are on the left along with my thumbnails from my CTGP Deluxe setup. If you want to check that out, it's on my second channel, Funky Scott 48 quick little plug-in, and my SD card is on the right. So to start off, we will open up the USB Loader GX FS47 zip file. Go inside of the first folder, and there should be a Wii U and a WAD folder. Highlight both of these, and we're going to drag it on. Of course, I already have it. I'm just going to hit replace file, and we're good. So if you're here just for the virtual Wii channel WAD, well, you can just grab the WAD channel and put it on. And just so you know how this works, in order for the Wii U forwarder channel to work, you do need a USB Loader GX VWI WAD with the title ID UNEO. But once you have those on your SD card, you can exit and delete. Next up, we'll open our WAD manager, YAM Mod Me Edition, and just grab the apps folder, drag it onto the root of your SD card. I already have it, I'm gonna hit replace and it will be in your apps folder. We can exit and delete. And if you're wanting to replace your current USB Loader GX app with the better version that works with SD mode, I would suggest going into apps on your SD card. Find USB Loader GX. I'm gonna delete the current one in order to update it. If you do have your covers in this folder, make sure to back those up first if that, those are in your images. But I'm gonna delete this before moving the new one on. And now we'll go back to the root of the SD card, open up the USB Loader GX zip file, grab the apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. It will go in there, we can exit and delete. And now we are good to head over to our Wii U, so eject your SD card and I'll meet you there. All right, and once you're loaded on, if you have not set up your virtual Wii channel yet, well, you cannot use this until you do so. So we're gonna load into the Wii menu, and we're gonna install our WAD. If you already have an older version of the WAD, you can uninstall it in YAM Mod Me Edition, or you can go to your Wii options, channels, and you can delete it from there. All you, all you do is click on it and press erase. But we're gonna load into the homebrew channel, and once your apps load, we're gonna go find YAM Mod Me Edition, probably at the very end. There it is, load it up, 
and it should load up. This WAD manager actually tells you if you have Preloader installed or not, and this is a good time to tell you guys that Preloader currently causes a lot of bugs with USB Loader GX, so that is why I do not have it installed, but I'm sure that will be updated in the future. Select source device, we're gonna press A on SD slot, and this will bring us into our WAD folder. I do have a used folder in my WAD folder just for old WADs that I have installed. Good idea to have, then you can always uninstall it and you won't lose it. But we are gonna press A on USB Loader GX on install. It'll be very quick. Any button and we're good. You can press the home button, it'll go back to the homebrew channel. Go back to your system menu and there it is, USB Loader GX. Let's load into it. So right now, the first load, press A for SD mode. And now that we did that once, I'm gonna go back to the Wii menu, and I'm gonna load in again, and you should see that it will load without asking you for SD mode. So let's load it up one more time. Here we go. And it goes to loading resources. We are not asked if it's SD mode or not. So we are good to go, that problem is solved and now we can use this channel so i'm going to load it up and i'll show you that it loads into usb loader gx without any issues without asking you if you want to use sd mode or not and there we go straight in if this guide helped you i would love it if you smash that like button for me it really helps me out and subscribe for more guides stay funky and happy modding <laughs>